Hey everyone, welcome. Today we have one of our superstar clients, Alicia Klassen, who's just about to start some new exciting things. And we're bringing her, bringing her on to have a conversation. So, Alicia, welcome, welcome. Thank you, Shobet. Great to be able to share with you. Perfect, perfect. So Alicia, why don't you, let's begin. We want to know more about you. So, so tell us a bit, you know, your background, what are you up to right now, so so everyone can get to know you a little bit more. Sure. So I am a product manager. I have been in product management for about five years, and I was looking to transition to a senior product manager role. Um, I've been in the fintech space, e-commerce space, worked at um, various companies, um, 15 years work experience, but fundamentally looking to transition into a European market and just get some global experience. So yeah, that's a bit about me. Love it. And in case anyone's wondering where Alicia is and what is that accent, she's in South Africa. Just just, just so you know the answer to that. Because you know people often yeah. look at me funny, they're like, oh, okay, cool. So. Uh, uh, you know, first of all, you know, before you started an intentional job search, tell us what was the challenge, the struggle, the frustration that you were going through that that you know brought you to intentional job search. Yeah, so I've been dabbling with the idea of working in the European market for quite some time, and um, twenty twenty just made me feel like this is the time. And um, in twenty twenty one, I thought bite the bullet now before um, you lose the opportunity to make use of these remote roles that are out there. Um, so basically, I was a bit, um, how can I say, uninspired by the local um, jobs that I was applying for at the time. I just finished a contract. I was in between uh, jobs. And um, instead of just applying locally, I thought, why not? This is the time. Go for um applying your in the European market. And yeah, that's when I realized um, in my first month, I think it was April of 2021, that I had no idea what the European market uh, job market was all about. And I noticed some clear differences between the local market and the European market. Um, and I came across a video of yours um, talking about remote jobs. And I thought, OK, this is perfect timing. Um, let me find out what it's about. And yeah, I, I decided that it's a good place to to get some support for for my job search. Love it. And you know you're you're so right about the fact that while the pandemic has been awful, you know the silver lining where we should always look for silver linings, but like one of the things is that people are so much more used to remote work now that except for a few companies, everyone's like, you know, I don't care if you're sitting two doors down from me and still uh, staring into a Zoom thing, or or you you're somewhere else. So uh, I'm totally glad you decided. Let's grab the opportunity. Let's let's take advantage. So you know, like uh, enrolling in a program like this, it, it's a big decision. So what what basically took you over the edge? What made you finally go like, "Yep, I'm in. Let's let's go do this." Mm -hmm. So I applied for my first um, overseas jobs, three of them, and immediate rejections with no reasons for <laughs> why mm. um, I was rejected. And that's when I realized, you know, this is a completely different ball game here. Um, I'm in a pool of 200 to 300 people um, completing globally instead of locally. And so I need to have something to support me to stand out. Yeah. And that's really why I thought, let me do some research and figure out if there's a program that does this or is useful. And I must admit, I did have a discovery call with Product Gym as well. Um, and I spoke to one or two people in that program and kind of after comparing the initial take on fee with the fact that their group was quite big. So there wasn't a lot of one-on-one um, -on -one attention. Um, when I ended up speaking with you and also having done a course with you last year, 
I, I just knew that it was still a good fit and it was just a continuation of that relationship. And I thought, jump in. You already know show, but um, let's see what his um, job search program is like. And I did, and I, I was not like sad for, about my <laughs> my decision. I was very happy about it. Yeah. Love it. So, so you, you join, and I'm curious, as you started the program, what were some of the things first you learned or, or some wins, some maybe surprises that you saw when you were in the program? Well, firstly, I like the structure of the program. The fact that each week we had e-learning we could engage with so we could do self-study and kind of immerse ourselves into the job market. Um, the second thing I really enjoyed was the one-on-one -on -one sessions with um, either yourself or Sam, where you would sit with us and, and talk through our career history and help us shape the story we would like to tell for our future employers and also highlight what's important and leave the parts that aren't as relevant. So I love the feedback cycles that we could get directly from yourselves as coaches, but also from our peers. And that just seemed to enrich the experience for me. And um, yeah, I, I, what surprised me was how, how many other people were also going through the struggle. And it was great to find a little tribe where you realize that, you know, we're all in this together and um, helping each other and cheering each other on. Like, I really appreciated that sense of community. And that's one of the reasons why I thought this was definitely the program for me. Love it. I, you know, I, I want to expand on some of the things you mentioned. So Sam's a genius at this in really helping people dig into their past and not just find those stories, but like highlight what's unique about them. Because what happens is that we just take our strengths, our success and everything for granted. And, you know, Sam looking at it or me looking at it, we can often go like, what? You did that? That was so amazing. Why aren't you talking more about it? Why aren't you highlighting that? That is so cool about, about you. And so, you know, we saw, saw that in you and we see that in people. And, and that is the fun part, you know, just like discovering those things about people, which they, you know, which they are just taking for granted themselves. Mm -hmm. um, you also mentioned the community. I, I think that is so crucial. I mean, I remember you also started to build some some friendships and, and uh, connect with people and realize they are going through similar challenges, right? Yeah. So for me, it was nice to reach out to fellow FinTech people because that ah. was the space I was looking for employment in and um, really understanding who they applied with, what are the kinds of challenges and questions they were getting, and just having a sounding board um, in in the space that you're in. Um, I think that's unique. I don't think that will always be the case for everyone. Um, you know, maybe you're, you choose uh, machine learning or something and you're kind of on your own, okay. but um, fundamentally um, that was a nice um, segue for me to get more support um, with direct interactions with my peers. Yeah, and, and you know, you, 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 you bring up an important point. I, I, I see like other smaller groups form within intentional product managers. Actually, AI machine learning is one of them where people are truly passionate about it. There's a consumer group, FinTech, definitely uh, quite a few people there. So, so it's, it's really interesting to see like now, like these industry and, and mission specific things emerge. So, <laughs> yeah. So, so tell us more about, um, you know, as you went through the program, you went through applications, what were the other things that really helped you confidently show up at interviews and what was the impact these things had for you? Mm -hmm. I think the biggest impact that helped me improve and level up in my interview process was the role playing we did and in the mock interviews. Mm. Those were priceless by far. Um, what I enjoyed is not only do you get direct feedback on the spot, you are also able to refine it so you can iterate as long as you need to until it makes sense before moving on. And I think that's unique because often you just kind of do your first version and it's good enough and then you leave it. Whereas here, um, the program challenges you to give your best version of every story. 
And it's not only from your perspective, it's from the people who hear your story and they play it back to you and it just complements it and makes it so much better. So I think that was a huge um, contributor to why my storytelling improved um, and definitely a credit to all the people that helped me get there. Love it. Love it. I want to highlight for people, you know, it's, it's often people say, hey, the, the mocks and getting that direct feedback was the best part, most useful part of the program. I tell them that I thought my jokes were the most useful part of the program, but they, they don't quite agree. But, you know, I, I think there's a couple of things you pointed to. One, it's from people who are already interviewers at the kind of companies that you want to go to. And so you are getting feedback from from people who are well qualified to give you that feedback. I don't disappear interviews. I think they have their place. But if you know, you're know you only interviewing with people who are also interviewing for similar companies, then you're not really getting the feedback that you need to improve. And then the second part is the, I think you mentioned like keep refining. And because we're able to see you in a line rather than like only one interview, we know like there's patterns here, there's this trends here that are happening. And um, I remember with a lot of people, you know, sometimes you see some trends and they improve. And then at some point they go back. And so we're able to quickly catch and say, okay, yeah, you, this is your old habit. Who's that? Bring back, bring back the new, new Alicia, the new you here. So that makes a, a massive, massive difference. Yeah, Love exactly. It. Love it. So uh, tell me, you know, now, now it's time for you to brag. Tell us <laughs> where you headed. What did you end up with? You know, it's time to just like tell people about your awesome results that happened. So I landed my senior product manager role at a global company um, with the option of relocating, which is exactly wh what I wanted to do. Um, for those who don't know, there are some restrictions around travel. So I was always opting for the remote first and then with the option of relocating. Um, I got the best of both worlds in that I have a, I'm working at a medium sized company, but it's got like a large company backing it. Um, and it's global. I'm getting that diverse experience. And um, yeah, for me, it's just, it was a good fit in terms of potentially where the location could be, the people and the mission are behind the product and the fact that I could bring my FinTech experience to it. Um, it's just, it was just the best fit for me. Yeah, love it. And, and uh, you know, I, I know Leah, people will be like, they'll, they'll look up LinkedIn later when this interview is published and they'll check out where where you are. So it's awesome. I'm, I'm so happy for you. And you also, um, you also said no to some great offers. We're not going to go into details, but you know, Alicia was sitting on multiple offers and, and uh, uh, that was, how, how did it feel to just like, not just have one, but know that you know, you're valued. You, you, there's multiple people who are multiple companies that are saying, yep, we want Alicia to be a senior PM at our, at our company. Yeah, that, that is a great um, achievement for anyone in the job market. And I am grateful for the skills I got in the program to get me there. Uh, I think it's a privilege to be able to choose between multiple offers in these types of climate, global climate. And uh, one thing I will say is that in terms of multiple offers, I had set out my sites for a three month period. Um, I started the program in May um, and I said by July, I wanted um, to have a job. And the 29th of July, I had two offers, which I was really excited about. So I, I really felt like I, I had hit the goal that I had aim for and and with with the support of this of this program um and it, these were really big offers and i'm really lucky to to have gotten the offers on the same day as well which made it so much harder to choose but i chose the right one for me um i've never been a people pleaser it's all about the dream job for me and the fact that this program supported me with that is priceless Love it. And, and, you know, just want to say lucky to get them on the same day, but you also deserved it. So it's not just lucky. It's also the fact that you'd worked for it. You'd 
practice so much you refined your stories you told them in an amazing manner and and hence you landed exactly what you did, what you deserved uh, cool so last question from my side really like you know when you there's other people who are in the same boat as you were where they're like okay what do i do i'm searching for jobs what uh, what advice would you give them i think if you are venturing out of your comfort zone and you perhaps considering a job globally um or a fan company i know that there are really exceptional resources in this program for that and i would say why go it alone struggle and waste potential earning potential uh, and time when you can join people who have walked the road have experience interviewing for these types of companies and have the tools in a structured way to get you there faster it's a it's a it's a case of what are you willing to invest to get the return which will probably be more than 3 times what you expect if not more um so it's just about investing in yourself and knowing what that trade off is and once you decide that pick the right program it'll get you there totally and and i i would say if you're not venturing outside your comfort zone what are you doing <laughs> you have to do that every job search should take you some like your aim should be so high that it's a little scary you know shouldn't be like yeah i got it because then that's a that's a waste of all this time you spent preparing when you could have done a little more and got into that to that next level mm-hmm. love definitely alicia thank you so much for sharing your journey we were very excited for where you ended up and just can't wait to can't wait to hear all these great things that happen in your career Thank you Shavit and really appreciate all your help. Looking forward to seeing many more star students coming through your program. Love it. Take care. Thank you. Well,